Hi, I'm John Emmett and I'm here in Villa Mora. I'm standing in the Finn Boat Park uh, with, uh, this is a, a tongue twister, with a Finnish <laughs> sailor. Yeah. Uh, please, uh, a Finnish Finn sailor, please can you introduce yourself? Yep, so I'm Oskar Mohanen, uh, yeah, Finn sailor from Finland. And this event is the uh, Europeans and the under 23 Europeans. Originally was going to be in the air in France. It's now in uh, Portugal with Villamora sailing, much like everything else. Yeah. Uh, tell us about this regatta. Yeah, so obviously it's the uh, first big, reg big regatta of the year, uh, Europeans. Uh, I think all the good guys are here, so really good preparation for Worlds in Porto next month. I saw Giles's boat just down there straight back from the America's Cup there's probably more people here than we've had in a long time isn't that from the yeah, top yeah. yeah I would think so yeah yeah, yeah well, I guess we have a few guys missing like Kiwis only like only Kiwis I think but yeah and uh, the next event this is obviously preparation for Porto can you tell us what that event is and why it's especially important this time around yeah it's so obviously it's world so it's a big big regatta already but uh, but but it's also the last qualification for Olympics in Tokyo. So that's the opportunity to get the, the country spot yeah. to be in Japan. Yeah, so it's a European and African qualifier. So it's actually not that long. So I guess the results at this event will be a really good indicator of uh, who's performing. Not much time yeah, between yeah, the two. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, obviously, I don't know what the weather is going to be like there. Is it, is it similar like here? But yeah i think like that's, everybody that's what we have martin for <laughs> yeah yeah exactly exactly but yeah i think like the guys who can do well here probably are going to do well in porto as well yeah i mean it's there's not much time from porto to the yeah. to the games itself so yeah. but you've had a lot of success in the class um can you just tell us uh, about your your biggest achievement or should i say three yeah so i i won the under 23 worlds now three times first time in 2017 and then 19 and 20 yeah so i mean yeah you've you've, you've got the background you've been in the class yeah. for quite a while how did you get into fin sailing uh, i was sailing laser at start actually i sailed europe for three years then i sailed radial for three years and then there's a big step up in weight between yeah, radial yeah, and I fin know. yeah <laughs> i uh, i like yeah i was sailing radial and then we had the youth worlds in Malaysia, I think. And then I got like three yellow flags. So then I, <laughs> I was a bit like over with laser. So then I sailed standard for like. So am half I a guessing? Year. Am I guessing you like the free pumping? Yeah, I mean that's that, that's that's nice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's a good answer. <laughs> yeah. So you just uh, you get to certain conditions. The harder you work, the faster you go, and nobody's yeah. going to be blowing whistles at you for doing it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but also I think I'm I I started to be a bit too big on the laser, so I rather eat more than diet. So I can so. I can understand that. <laughs> yeah. That's why I coach. But uh, no, it is very important to be the the right size yeah. for the for the boat you sell. Um, any final thoughts? We're we're just about to go into the regatta. Uh, not really. I think it's the forecast looks good for the whole week, and I think we're gonna have some good racing. Fantastic. The following week. Yeah. Well, very best of luck. Thanks. Cheers. Okay.